Today we're gonna to be doing a full review anal feed over the Air Jordan 7 Chambrays. What's going on YouTube, man? Thanks for tapping in to another video. It's always greatly appreciated when you guys pull up to the videos, come share some love, come drop them comments down below. And I'm very interested in knowing who all cop these Air Jordan 7s today. I know that retail tag, $200 is pushing a lot of people away. I know it's a lot of OGs out there that always wanted to go back and grab the Air Jordan 7 chambray. So if you did, like I said, drop them comments down below. Let me know what you think about them. Uh, but me personally, I definitely think that these will be in an outlet near you very soon, man. All right, guys, before we jump into this full review and feed over the Air Jordan 7 chambrays, I gotta put you guys on to the best product to match with these Air Jordan 7s and that brand is Outrank. You guys know I've been putting you guys on the last couple of releases with Outrank brand. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the pieces that they sent over to go perfect with the Air Jordan 7 chambray. So first things first, man, let's go ahead and check out the hats right here. You got this nice, hat right here to go with it with the globe on it and it says taken over by any means necessary man super clean super crispy and over here we have another outrank cap that says can't lose man so you got that chambray baby blue hits all in it that go perfect with your kit and they also sent over some crazy clean shorts right here man you know it's summertime you gotta come right with the summer of course with the nice shorts right here. Let's go ahead and check out some of the t-shirts that they sent over, check it out. You got the Outrank in that baby blue on the front. They also sent this one over here, got the Outrank on the front. And then check out the back you have, can't lose right here that goes crispy with the Chambray Air Jordan 7. Have another shirt right here, kinda has that same logo effect on a black tee. And then last but not least, man, you have this tee right here. It says, taken over by any means necessary with the Outrank on the front, man. So make sure you guys go check out Outrank brand. Use my code DaVinci to save a lot of money on your purchase. I'm gonna tag them down below, link them down below, and tell me your boy DaVinci sent you, man. And bam, man, there you have it. The Air Jordan 7 Chambray's. Your boy DaVinci has been copping a lot of sevens to get back into the collection. I think it all started off with the Air Jordan 7 uh, Ray Allens. And I went ahead and grabbed the Raptors again. And then I got the Air Jordan 7 Bordos, DMP 7s, and a couple other ones. And the latest one I did get is the Citrus Air Jordan 7s. I know a lot of people said, bro, why'd you get them? They've been going for under retail. And then, you know, everything ain't about, you know, getting it for under retail. If you don't mind waiting to grab a sneaker, I definitely don't blame you because sneakers like this are something that's definitely going to be in, like, you know, a Nike outlet and Foot Locker going for that 30% off and stuff like that because not a lot of people nowadays are rocking Air Jordan 7s, man. But first things first, with this sneak right here, man, you get some nice, nice suede all the way around the sneak. You guys can just see it off of first rips, off of first glimpse. See that nice backstroke of that suede that they threw all the way around these Air Jordan 7s. I'm really liking that baby blue hit that we got with these joints as well. Uh, kind of more like on the UNC side of things. Like I told you guys when I first unboxed these, kind of gave me UNC Air Jordan 7 vibes because they match damn near two UNC toes that we'll be getting uh, next week. You know what I'm saying? So crazy releases this month. Uh, your boy DaVinci's already caught three of them. We got the black toes, got the UNC toes, and of course we got these Chambray Air Jordan 7s right here. Gives you a cool little pull tab and I like graphite color with your uh, Chambray UNC 2-3 on the back, with your 7 on the back of the heel tab as well. And then check out the peaks on the midsole. These 7s right here, you guys can see, you kind of get that light graphite colorway. You get the black in there. And of course, you get that Chambray UNC baby blue on the midsole as well, man. And then something that Air Jordan 7s are pretty much known for is the crazy tongue, is the crazy, you know, outsoles that they throw on them. Uh, checking out the tongue first, kind of get this nice little pattern right here. Uh, on the tongue, which are like your fight, your black, and that chambray blue again. And then leading down to the outsole on these guys right here, you already know how they come in Jordan 7s, super dope with the tongue and the outsoles on the sneaker. I think it was always pretty cool how, you know what I'm saying, they constructed the Air Jordan 7 model, all the different hits they threw on these guys, and it did not let us down with the chambray Air Jordan 7s. A crazy fact about these joints right here is the last time these released was back in 2006. So that's I, like, I'm super bad at math, but I'm gonna just throw a number out there. That's like 16, 15 years, I don't know, just a long time ago. I don't like you guys gonna talk trash about me down below in the comment section, but 06, we went 23. So, uh, 
So yeah, you guys can do the map down below. Super long time ago, uh, it finally, you know, brought these back out. I remember, you know, growing up seeing a lot of people have these joints, believe it or not, along with a couple other Air Jordan 7s, Air Jordan 9s, other dope, you know, notable Jordan colorways back in the day. And we we're finally starting to get them back in 2023. And now people like me, you know what I'm saying, are able to go back and add them joints that they grew up liking. On the sock line are these Air Jordan 7s, you get that UNC chambray blue all the way on the inside of the sneaker. And you even get on the heel and their pull tab of these 7s as well. So again, I want to know everybody that did cop these Air Jordan 7s down below in the comment section right now. Let it be known. Are you waiting for these joints to hit, you know what I'm saying, the Nike outlet? I definitely think, you know, after a couple of weeks, they're definitely gonna be in somebody Nike outlet going for under retail. Hopefully Jordan, you know, here shortly, they dropped the a retail tag on certain silhouettes, especially like Air Jordan 7s, Air Jordan 9s, Air Jordan 10s. I can keep going on and on. A lot of people are not grabbing the silhouettes that I just mentioned, so maybe if they do retail based off of, you know what I'm saying, the likeness of that silhouette, then hopefully we get lower retail tags for those sneakers, especially seven. These need to be like 140, 150 max, along with some other silhouettes that I just mentioned, man. All in all, still super happy that I have these joints. Definitely gonna be one of those keepers that I keep in the collection. Like I said, I always grew up wanting these joints. Ever since I did see those first initial images, of the mock-ups of the Chambray Air 7, I say, you know what? It's time for me to go back and grab them joints and add them to the collection. So checking out the resale right now on StockX, these joints in the size nine is only going for $174, which is the lowest ask. The highest bid is $154, $152. So I'm telling y'all, y'all wanna wait. They're gonna be everywhere going for under retail. They're going for under retail on you know, third-party apps like going to StockX, you already know probably gonna be sitting in the mall wherever you're going to uh, and they're gonna still you know show that $200 retail tag and you gotta wait a little you know wait out a couple weeks just for them to put that you know discount on this thing here because these definitely gonna collect some dust on this nice way that they threw in these chambray air during the sevens man So a couple of the Air Jordan 7s that I did want to show you guys, we already got over the own feet, uh, is the Air Jordan 7 Ray Allens. These are the ones I was just talking about. Super, super clean, I love them. One of my most recent Air Jordan 7 pickups, the Air Jordan 7 Citruses, had to have them. Super beautiful sneaker. I don't know why people slept on them, I love them. And I think this was the first Air Jordan 7 I ever had in the collection, the Air Jordan 7 DBs. And then the last two being uh, the DMP Air Jordan 7s right here, or the Raptors. I think this is the Raptor colorway. Then the DMPs came with like a more lighter uh, black on the top. And then you have the Bordeaux Air Jordan 7s. We definitely need a retro out of these. These joints is beat so crazy. And uh, Nike, 
It's time to bring the DMP 7s back out and the Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux. I appreciate everybody for tapping into today's video. If you guys enjoyed the content and you have not subscribed yet, man, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Hit the notification bell for your boy. We try to get this 100K, bro. 100K is a grind. I cannot wait to get it. We're definitely gonna get there together and still be dropping this dope content for everybody part of Ninja Squad, man. So go ahead and sub up. Hit that like button, man. And with all this being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace.